We're here with Tricia Mackey from Fox. Mm -hmm. And uh, so how did you get a job like this coming down here to the Kennedy Space Center? I paid off the right people. Yeah, I no. guess that's what you got to do. <laughs> Just kidding. You know, I, I asked about a year ago. Uh, I knew that uh, John Glenn was going to be going back up into space. And so a year ago, I went to my boss and asked them if I, in fact, could do it and uh, put in my credentials. And it took a long, it was a long process even to get the okay. So I think I um, I begged and pleaded and got on my hands and knees and said, please send me to. Well, this is a, yeah, this, if you're in Florida. So how could it be too bad? You know, yeah, this plus is great. the spatial launch. Is this your first time being here for a launch? This is my first time, and I'm very excited about it. I keep hearing the stories of what it looks like, of what it feels like, what it sounds like, and I just can't wait. You've done it before, right? right we've been down for many launches, and it's uh, it's exciting. I mean, you'll be you'll be thrilled. Are you going to be uh, live during the launch, or we're not going to be live at two o'clock? We're mm -hmm. going to be live back in the studio. Um, I'm going to be live again at 11:30, and then I'll be live recapping it tonight on the 10 o'clock news. But we're not going to be live during it at all. Uh, Actually, we couldn't even get any um, satellite windows to do a live because there's there so, so many, many media yeah. here. Yeah. yeah, well, you can see around here. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. Uh, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. uh, would you like to go up on the space shuttle? No. No. No, I wouldn't because I'm. I am. Uh, I, I love roller coasters. Mm -hmm. I, I love like doing thrilling type things. I think maybe I would parachute, mm -hmm. possibly never bungee jump. I wouldn't do that. But I'll tell you what. I just don't think I could. I would not do that. That is not it's for not me. For the, not for the faint-hearted. No, it's not. I would no. like to be, however, here, you know, in December when Endeavor goes back up and for the rest of the launches because it's pretty cool here, but there's no way I would go. Would you go back up? Would you go up? In a minute. In, in a an minute? absolute minute. I've, I've done some training with the astronauts. I've been in the microgravity plane with the astronauts, and so I have a pretty good idea, idea what it's like. And there is an element of risk, but uh, I'm willing to accept that risk for a, for a cool flight up into space. And hopefully, I really think that's the only way it's really going to uh, get more popular is by getting more normal people involved uh, like well John Glenn is a special mm -hmm. person but he's also that's why we're here today that's why everybody's here today right. you know when we're down here covering a launch uh, you don't see all these people here I mean this place is vacant is it yeah and we and you know we need some kind of enthusiasm to get things uh, to, to the excitement level where people are going to come and really be interested and I think the way to do that possibly my own opinion mm -hmm. is uh, by getting people more involved well you know what I think if the NASA people came to me which you know they, you never know right you never know <laughs> Right, if the right. NASA people came to me and said, Trisha, it's on your shoulders, right. you know, you are the person, you are the person that's going to catapult us into, you know, the, the, the new millennium mm -hmm. or whatever it is, and it's all on you to get uh, more enthusiasm for the space program, maybe at that point, I'd say, You'd give in okay, but at this country. point, for my country, I would do sure. it being patriotic right, you know right. but it would be cool but I'd much rather get in there and uh, before it takes off get back out of there okay well <laughs> yeah that'd be the easy way yeah uh, who have you had a chance to chat with I mean there's a lot of a lot of famous people around here uh, yeah who have you who have you chatted with had the opportunity to talk to um, Jim Lovell mm -hmm. um, we were really close getting an interview with him live but he is just so busy because he is doing a lot of live um, hits for Fox right. um, we did talk to um, Pete Conrad mm -hmm. who's a former astronaut mm -hmm. talked to him a lot about what he thinks about it and he actually told us that he wants to be the next oldest person he wants to oh next in line how about that All he right. actually wants to be older than Glenn so he has the, the new Break record, the record. Yeah. Right. Right. He was thinking maybe, though, instead of just going up there and doing it some, some uh, tests on aging, he wants to actually go to the moon or go to Mars. Sure. Yeah, no. So sure. Well, why not? He just might do it. Right. And we yeah. also talked to Ohio Governor George Winovich and Ohio Senator Mike DeWine. That's all we've hobnobbed so far, but it's still early. It's still early. A lot of people right. here. And you. And, you know? and uh, yeah, Big and me. celebs wow. here. You Doesn't know? get any bigger than that. <laughs> right. Well, we appreciate you taking time to talk with us. Good My luck pleasure. to you. Thank, Thank you. you. you too.